Hello everyone and welcome back to Soul for Hobby channel. My name is Lisa. I'll be your guide in today's um, crafting adventure. Today we're going to make an earring and uh, for this project you'll need some air hooks. You can either use silver or you can go use gold. You can use some jump rings. I'm using a 10... I think this one is a 10 millimeter and a silver one you can use any one but today I think we will go with gold this is I got a new uh, charm box from Amazon because uh, I wanted to organize my charms and this was a good solution couldn't either put beads or any small craft item it's a good container. So today, I have a lot of old stuff. So, let's see what we can come up with. Have some cute Hello Kitty charms. And, um... Have some Christmas tree. Let's see. Today match. Let's find a matching one. We found a matching one. How cute are these? I think they, these are still available on Amazon or if you want to find them online. And I got them in the bundle pack a long time ago, a couple of years, two years ago, I think. I got these charms. There's the hole. I don't know if you can see it. This is Hello Kitty. That, let's put this away and make some room. And let's see, so this is gold. Here's the back and the front. I'm gonna make, uh, we need two jump rings. These are 10 millimeter. There's one. You can even make chain necklaces out of these two, but we'll do that next time. You'll have enough. In supplies in order to do that. Sometimes it costs too much money to make the jewelry. But it depends on what's in your budget. Anyway, for this tool, you need a round nose plier, flat nose plier. I'm using my special guy to help me out. It's also a flat nose plier. And, uh, Let's get started. Remember how to open up the jump ring? Find that center. Do what I do and you'll open up a jump ring. Do a little twist. Okay. Now you can take your charm of your choice. See that hole? Stick it through. See your air hook? Before you close it, make sure you put it in through that hole. Then you close it. Do the best you can and just secure it. This is a kid-friendly video. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for following me and being patient with me as we get some new videos out. Sometimes I don't have a lot of good ideas, but re repeating ideas, but with different um, materials. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to give me a good thumbs up and uh, like and subscribe. Please share with your family and friends if you want to learn how to make earrings. Or other crafts. And there you have it. Do a little test. There's one pair. We'll make the second pair. Do the same thing. Take your round nose plier. Let's see if we can find an opening on camera. Let's 
right there. That little line where my thumb is right there. Twist. Take your charm. Stick it through that hole. Before you close it, take your ear hook. These are called ear hooks. I got a hyperallergenic ear, ear hooks uh, for the sensitive people because there's a lot of sensitive um, ears out there. And you don't want to have an allergic reaction to the jewelry. You want to be able to have fun with it and wear it. That's where this tool will come in. When I get off camera, I always check my work to make sure it's okay. You can make good gifts or for yourself or for your loved ones. Jewelry is meant to be worn. When you feel like you want to look nice for yourself, not for anybody else. And, uh... What this tool does is flatten down the piece and make it straighter. Takes a long time to create a piece. I guess this one gave me a little bit of trouble. But I'll try to fix it when I'm off camera. I apologize for the delay. Alright, that's good enough. Let's give it to Tess. If it doesn't come out, that means you did a good job. Let's give this other one a test, too. This is my test. Do your test like this, too. Alright. Now we have two good looking earrings. Oops. There they are. These are hyperallergenic and they're gold. I'm using a 10 millimeter jump ring to secure it. This is an old Hello Kitty collection. They're, they probably still make them on Amazon. You can probably find your own Hello Kitty. Um, charm. There you have it. For this tool, you'll need round nose, flat nose, and this guy. These are all my favorite tools that I, I had these. This is the newer one, and I had this for about two years. And these two I had for oh, a long, long time, over ten years. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. 
and uh, being patient when we get out these videos, it'll take time. So hopefully I come up with some other ideas for crafting or music or whatever. Anyway, thank you so much for returning. Stay tuned for other videos. Thank you so much for liking this video. Give me a good thumbs up. Welcome if you are new and thank you so much for following me. And let's continue to grow the channel to get up to 100 subscribers. We'll see what happens by then. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you for watching. Bye.